All right, number seven. One liter of an aqueous solution contains 1.52 grams of a compound used in antifreeze. If the osmotic pressure of this solution is 20 degrees Celsius, uh, at 20 degrees Celsius is 448 torrs, calculate the molar mass of the antifreeze. All right, what we're going to build off of is we're looking for the molar mass, and we know that the molar mass or molecular weight is always a uh, always has the units of a grams over moles. Now, we know how many grams of the antifreeze is in there. We just need to figure out how many moles are in there. Now, the reason this works is because osmotic pressure is a calculation dependent on molarity, and molarity has our moles per liter in it. And that's how we're going to get our moles here. So we're going to solve our osmotic equation, our osmotic pressure equation. We're going to solve for that molarity. All right, so I have the 448 tors, but since our R has atmospheres in it as a unit, we're going to convert this pressure into atmospheres. Remember, we're going to solve for molarity. Our R is the gas constant R. And temperature, 20 degrees plus 273, so 293.2 Kelvins. All right, so I'm going to solve for the molarity first. So that was 448. Four. I don't know why my calculator doesn't like me. There. All right. Just got to be smart on the calculator, apparently. 448 divided by 760. 760 gives us atmospheric pressure. We're now going to divide by the R. And also divide by the temperature. And this is the molarity. But we want just the moles, so the next thing I'm going to do is take that molarity and multiply it by the volume I used. And in this case, that was just one liter, so we are just multiplying it by one. And now it's just the moles of the antifreeze compound. Well, I have the mass, so I'm going to take the 1.52 and I'm going to divide it by those moles. And three significant figures, so I get a molecular weight of 62.0.